uh, today for our worship video, I thought that one of the things we could do is to send our imaginations up into the sky, through the ceilings, up beyond the clouds and into space. You know, in our solar system, all of the planets orbit around the sun, the thing that is the most important, the thing with the most gravity, everything else goes around and around. And our lives are kind of the same. The thing that is most important to us, the thing with the most mass, is the thing that we put in the centre of our lives and everything else circles around it. If you think of your weekly schedule and you think of all of the things that you try and fit in to your time, you'll see that some things are more important to you and others less important. Those things that are more important take up a more central role and then other things fill in wherever there's a gap. So, for example, you might say that your schoolwork, your homework, uh, takes a back seat, but socialising with friends is more important to you. You might think that uh, doing exercise is very important, so you might put that near the centre. Um, and for each person, they have the most important thing at the centre of their lives. Because we give it such centrality, such importance, if it ever goes wrong, we can find that the rest of our lives start to unwind and spiral out of control. Perhaps it's a, a romantic relationship that ends um, and causes a lot of different areas of life to go downhill. So if you break up, you might find that your schoolwork goes downhill, um, your relationships with other friends are affected, the way your, your mood around the house and the way you react to your parents might all be affected. One of the things we've seen in 2020 is that those things that become important to all of society, things like the economy, money and jobs, things like the environment, things like things that we might take for granted, like health, the right to go to school and to work, the right to leave our homes whenever we want. And those things in 2020 have actually stopped working, they've failed. So many people are finding that the other parts of their lives are also falling apart. They're also going off course. What I want to suggest today is that maybe there is something that we can put at the centre of our lives that we can rely on that will never fail. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. What I try and do is to put God at the centre of my life and everything else, my friendships, my relationships, my family, my work, my learning, my exercise and health, all of those things fit around God. Because what I find is that if I rely on God, he never fails. He's always there. It's completely reliable. And so I find that the other parts of my life more or less orbit God, fitting in where they can, and find that there's security in that. Those people who put something else like their financial health in the centre, or their career prospects, or their relationships, find that inevitably when those things go a little bit wobbly, go a little bit unreliable, that other things start losing their centre of orbit. A challenge for you today. What is at the centre of your life? What does everything else orbit around? I'd love to pray for you. Uh, so if you pray, please pray with me. And if not, you might want to listen to the words I say. Let's pray. Lord God, I ask that you would help each of us to understand our own lives and what is at the centre, what is the most important thing to each of us. We ask that whatever is at the most central part of our lives, that it would be reliable, that it would be something that doesn't fail easily. Uh, we ask that you would help us to really get to grips with thinking about whether you should be at the centre of our lives. Lord, we pray that you would be with us this day. Uh, comfort and protect us and protect those that we love. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day. See you.